tigers, lions, bears, um, any animal that any animal that gets old enough will get plaques and tangles, the pathology of Alzheimer's uh, in their brain. It's kind of tough to do cognitive testing on them, of course. Um, you know, you ask them to name ten different cities or towns in the U.S. and they don't tell you much. But but basically, it, this 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 disease will strike all mammals except herbivores. And I'm a vegetarian, so <laughs> I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> I'm Rudy Tanzi. I'm a professor of neurology at Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital. What is the one thing we know from epidemiology studies that reduces risk of Alzheimer's in terms of prevention? It's exercise, movement, keep moving. As long as you keep moving, keep blood flow going to the brain, this is the best thing you can do. And other than that, it's healthy diet. And um, you know, uh, I happen to know that in the animal kingdom, if you look at which animals get Alzheimer's pathology at old age, it begins with carnivores. Uh, herbivores don't get it, um, and many people don't know that. And so there does seem to be a link, uh, in the animal kingdom at least, between eating animal uh, products, uh, animal fats, and Alzheimer's pathology inevitably with age. If you look at the oldest herbivores, uh, donkeys, uh, giraffes, or hippopotamus, uh, they don't get Alzheimer's pathology. You know, not eating well, becoming obese, not exercising is a risk factor for virtually every disease that threatens healthy aging. And it's going to get worse because, you know, we're living longer and longer. And as long as we can't treat this disease at its roots and stop it, um, you know, this is a tsunami coming. I mean, this is Alzheimer's at this point by 2015 will single handedly begin to collapse Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, that's how prevalent it is. So we need to do something fast.